Jesus stated his purpose. In Luke chapter 4, verse 16, 17, going into 18, it tells us exactly what his purpose was. This is my mission. Now, what does that mean? This is the will of God. Is that right? So whatever he did was the will of God. And so he didn't walk around and go, uh, oh, no, sorry. He never had a person come and say, uh, Jesus, our son of David, have mercy on me. Open my eyes. Mm, no, sorry. Uh, you, you're not on the list today. No, see, he didn't do that. Do you, do you understand? See, we have to understand that God put his spirit in us. God's spirit was on Jesus and in Jesus. Is that right? So how did he lead and guide him? By his spirit. Now, what does that mean? Now, see, get this. I could say, I'm going to lay hands on the sick in a few minutes. Why? Because I'm only going to do what I see my father do. And people say, oh, well, that means he's not going to lay hands on everybody, just who he sees the father lay hands on. Uh, okay, first off, Jesus said, and I'm going to give you all the scriptures on this. I'm kind of giving you, I don't want to say a summary, but I want you to, to understand the direction here. Because this is vital, vital, if you're going to live the life Jesus wants you to live. Because Jesus, remember whenever Philip said, Jesus, show us the Father, and it'll suffice. And Jesus said, Philip, if you've seen me, he said, first off, he said, man, I've been with you so long, and you, you haven't seen the Father? If you've seen me, you've seen the Father. So the disciples, including Philip, the 12, could say, well, we're only doing what we saw the Father do. What? When did they see the Father do it? When Jesus did it. Does this make sense to you? See, I want to simplify this because we've got to get past, we've got to kill every excuse that the devil will try to bring to our mind to say, well, that was, Jesus was special in that sense, and so now we have to have this thing, you know, this certain way of doing things uh, before we can do that. That's not true. We don't, we don't have to see something. How do you see Jesus? How have you ever seen Jesus? Right here. And, and the thing is, what you see and hear about him is consistent all the way through. Why? Because he is the same yesterday and today and forever. Amen? So we, we, if we see Jesus, we see the Father. And Jesus said, listen, I'm just doing... What my father does, that's what I do. Amen? Does that make sense? Listen, this is vital. You've got to get a hold of this. Because what this means is, is that you see Jesus, and over and over again it says, when he knew, when he saw, the woman that was bowed over in Luke 13, he says, when he saw her, he called her to him and said, woman, you are loose from your infirmity. Then he laid his hands upon her, and immediately she was made straight. When he saw, not when he heard the father. Not when he saw the Father heal her, because, listen, if he saw the Father heal her, he wouldn't have had to heal her because she would have been healed by the Father. See, this whole thing, the enemy has built up to try to make people not do something. No matter what you preach, the enemy tries to come in and find a reason to get people not to do it. And that's where these sacred cows and all these things come up. So I just want to show, I want to give this to you. I want to show you God's will according to Jesus, right? So God's will according to Jesus has to be that the spirit of the Lord be upon you, that he has anointed you, right? And what does he anoint you to do? Preach the gospel to the poor. <clears throat> You've been sent to heal the brokenhearted to preach deliverance to the captives, recovering of sight to the blind, and to set at liberty them that are bruised. You say, well, well, that's what Jesus was sent to do, but you know, that's, that's not me, that's Jesus. Yeah, and Jesus said, as my Father sent me, so send I you. So see, you can't differentiate. Well, well but I'm not Jesus. Well, then it sounds like you really need to lean heavy on him. Isn't that right? You need to lean heavy toward that and say, man, I'm relying on your strength to do this because I can't do it. So I expect you to do it because you're the same. And I'm just doing what I see the Father do through Jesus. That's what I'm doing. Is this, do you get this? Okay. 